Hello everyone, welcome back again with the new video. In these sessions, we are going to cover how to do the payment gateway integrations. There are a lot of payment gateway right now in the market and we will be doing these integrations with the Stripe and the Razorpay. So first, starting with the Stripe, we are going to cover uh, first one, the repository introduction where we have created the React application and the Node API to just collect the information. Uh, second one, we will just going through the Stripe a Stripe introduction, like how exactly it works, what kind of things we need to consider before uh, proceed. And third one is the NGROC, NG rock sometimes we call, like it's it's up to us, like what we what we call. So NGROC is the service which is used for getting any kind of request to our local system. So as we running our applications on the local system, we do not have any static public IP address, right? So it runs on the local host. So for that purpose, this ng rock service is used to redirect those requests to our service. Uh, as we will be dealing with this payment gateways, payment uh, Stripe, and Stripe will just send some of the API requests once they are done with the payment so that we can just collect that information. Okay, this customer has paid this much amount. Okay, let's jump into the VS code. Okay, on the screen, we can see here, let me just increase the font a little bit. There are two folders, API and the client. So client is written in the React.js. It's just a basic simple component. Uh, this is not the very sophisticated code. Uh, you, this is just a sample code. You can just refer it. And definitely we have to update a lot of things uh, if required to integrate in your actual application. But it will just give a overall basic idea how to integrate uh payment gateways with these kind of uh, applications so this is the react application and api i have written in the node.js this is also a simple basic structure where we we have some sort of controllers routes and we are not going to store anything on the database or something but definitely we can do it i will just let you know how to get the request from the uh payment gateway and once we get the request we can just do whatever we want so here in the api like app.js and in app.js, we have these routes. Okay, so there is only one route. I just created some simple folder structure, payment route. And in the payment route, we have Stripe related two routes here. One is the webhook and second is the intent. So this endpoint is used for creation of the intent. We require to create a Stripe payment integration intent. We need to create an intent for Stripe payment. Okay, so this is the method where we have re written in the payment controller. Here, we are getting some information. It's up to us what information we wanted to send it from the client side. Okay, so the amount I'm just getting, uh, so I'm just defining the currency. It, it It's necessary to just define the currency as per the user we have, maybe from the US or any other country. We have to set this as a currency. We have to add some additional information. It's uh, different from the different countries. We have to make sure to check as well, because in India, we need to just mention these descriptions and the shipping address. It's uh, it's compulsory if we wanted to make any payment from the India to the Stripe. Okay, that's it. We are just returning with the client secret, which is getting created using this. Okay. Uh, Stripe is the, again the library, which we require actually here. And process.enu.stripe secret key. Okay, these keys we are going to deal with. So how to create this secret keys, I will just let you know. But yeah, this is the overall uh, one endpoint which is required to create the payment intent. Next one is the webhook, Stripe payment webhook. Okay, we have here, Stripe payment webhook, it means once we are done with the successful payment, right? Stripe will send that information to our server. And how to capture that? We have to expose the endpoint where so Stripe can just hit that endpoint and we'll get that information. So we are going to run these services on the local and to get those requests on the local host, we need to have an NGROC service, NGROC. How to run that, I will show you, but yeah. So this is the overall two endpoints we are going to deal with. On the React applications, let's see here, we have one component app.js and here we have payment gateway explanation. Okay, this one component, I just created it and Okay, at the bottom, we have some information. So it will look like this. Okay, the Razor Pay and the Stripe. So I'm going to cover both of the, I mean, uh, payment gateway integration. So 
I have just created a single component for covering both of the things. But yeah, in this video, we will be dealing with the stripe. So here, here we have a stripe, right? So okay, once we click and click on the proceed further, so there is a method get intent. Okay. So get intent method will get called localhost 4005. This is the server running on this port. Uh, we have v1 payment stripe and the intent i just showed before sometime this is the end point to just create get the intent okay so once we get the intent we are getting the client secret and this client secret is used for payment actually from the front end okay we are setting this client secret here and this client secret is getting used at stripe checkout form so if client secret is there, so this form, uh, this form will get populated and inside this form, we have further process like when it got succeed, when it processing any other payment request method or maybe any, uh, any error. Okay. There are a lot of things. This is the overall structure. So we will be running both of the applications and we'll again go through the uh, step by step. So let's jump onto the Stripe now. Okay. Just log in with the Stripe, log in on the Stripe dashboard. So you can just, just use any uh, Gmail, Gmail ID and create the Stripe account. Right now you can see here, there is a testing mode enabled. So for making the integration, test mode is more than sufficient. But when you're dealing with actual payment, you have to complete your all the business profiles and all where actual payments will get collected. But for the testing purpose, we don't require, you can just create this account on the fly and do the payment integration. The actual payment integration would be exactly same. Just we have to disable this payment mode. That's it. And the publishable key secrets, everything we are going to uh, have actually for the um, testing mode as well as the actual mode, uh, live mode, we can say. But the keys would be different. So what things we need to have? Let me just go to the API. We require two keys. Okay. Stripe secret key and the Stripe webhook key. Okay, these two things we are going to have. So how we can get this once you come to the home here on the dashboard, you can see here for developers, publishable key and secret key. How we can get it? Go to the developer API keys and here we have publishable key. Okay, just copy this. Okay, I copied publishable key and just pasting. Yeah, so public is not required here. So it will be required on the front end. But yeah, secret. So this secret, okay. So I'm just revealing. I will just deleting this once I'm done with this video. So don't use this. You can just create your own. Signing key. Okay, SK is the signing key and this is the test. PK is the public key and this also is the public key test. Okay, so I'm just copying this secret key and just putting it here. Okay, I just already did it. Stripe webhook secret. Okay, this is one more thing we need to have. Just copy this public key as well. So public key where we require on the front end SRC. App.js. Okay, here. Stripe promise. Okay, here. Uh, pub, uh, Stripe public key test we have to paste it here a public key is exposable that's perfectly fine even though if you add into the repository so it will be used for creation of the intent okay these two keys are important one more thing in the webhook go to the webhook we need to create the webhook and for that purpose we require ngrox configuration okay first of all you have to download the ngrox okay this is the service so once you log in into this dashboard.ng group so you'll get option to download it okay uh, for the mac i right now i'm logged in on the macbook so it's showing me uh agent as a macbook but in your case if you're uh, doing on the windows or maybe on the ubuntu so appropriate installation you will get an instruction here and just download it once you download it what you have to do we have to add this authentication token so in your account again it would be totally different so make sure you just copy this and go to the terminal. Okay, just I'm opening new terminal. Okay, we have to run this ngrock config add authentication token and this is the token. I already did, so I'm not going to do this. Just hit enter and you will be able to 
you will be able to add that authentication token. Now, how to run this ngrock HTTP and we have to specify the port. 4005 is the port where I'm my, my APIs are running. Okay. So once I hit this, we will get this kind of, inf uh, we'll, we'll get this kind of information. Okay. This is the actual URL where we have to mention in the Stripe. I'm just going to add here. Here. Okay. So I already added here, just click on, click on the new endpoint and we have to add here full details, but again, so there are some additional, uh, routes right here, flash V1 payment Stripe and the way book, these things we have to add. Okay. So let me just create one more endpoint for you. Create an endpoint. So just I'm adding here description you can add it whatever you want a uh, version you have to select the latest version you can just select that's perfectly fine in and so which different kind of events you wanted to get it okay i'm just selecting the events okay there are a lot of things you have to explore this accounts related there are four events right select all account event account updated account extend uh, created deleted updated we will be majorly dealing with Payment intent. Okay. Payment succeed, payment created, payment failed, something like that. But yeah, it's up to us, uh, which one we wanted to have it. Uh, there are a lot of, so I'm just selecting all of them right now and add event. Okay. So at the right side, you can see this code is automatically getting created. You can just select one of the, uh, framework, which you are using Ruby, Python, PHP, Java, Node.js. We'll be using the Node.js. Okay. So for that purpose, we need to have this. There is a one more important thing. Uh, so we have a signature here. So whenever we wanted to get the data from the Stripe, so in authenticated manner, we need to get it right. So for that purpose, we need to have one secret way book secret we will be dealing with. I will, I will just show you before that. So this kind of code we have to add. So there are different events, account updated account. I mean, I have just subscribed for all the events here, right? So that's why it's showing all the codes, but probably for the demo purpose, we just required payment created, payment intent created, succeed, something like that. I will show you here, but yeah, that's perfectly fine. You can just um, add all of them and just click on the add. So I already created this. I will show you here, this endpoint. And in our API, V1 payment type and the webhook, these are the endpoints we have already. Let me just show you. In the API, app.js in the routes. Okay, here we have V1. Here, payment route. So again, payment. And inside the payment route, we have Stripe Waybook. Okay, so this Stripe Waybook, it will get redirected here. But again, how it is working? First, this Stripe, whenever there is a payment, it will just redirect to this one. I mean, so Stripe will send information, all the events. Which, which we already enabled, right? Different status and all. So it will just send this information on this way book and our API are capturing that information. Okay. This communication should be happened in authenticated way. So that's why we need to have a secret as well. Okay. Waybook secret. WH waybook SEC is the secret and this is the actual secret. So we need to have this secret and just add into the dot .unif file. Stripe webhook secret. Okay, this I already added, which we require, and it will help us to make a I mean authenticated request actually. All right. Let me just jump onto the okay. So this is all about the uh, Stripe dashboard. Okay, this we this is the more than sufficient information we require. Now what we will do? So whenever we do any kind of payment. So this type will hit this webhook with uh, a signature actually. Okay, I will show you in the ngrok like how that how that signature looks like and what information type sent it. Okay, first of all, we have to just run our application. Okay, at the left side you can see I am already inside the API server. I am just running it.
front end I'm running it, npm run start. Okay, here it is running. Okay, and node one app. So it will just run our server on 4005 port. Okay, so this is the interface I created. Select a payment gateway. Right now, in this video, we are dealing with the Stripe. Okay, so I'm just clicking on the Stripe and clicking on the process to payment. So this interface is coming. Let's go to the v VS code now. How it is coming, I will just show you. Okay. So payment gateway explanation. Okay, this is the component where we are dealing with the Stripe and the Razor Pay, both of them. So let's see on the Stripe part. Whenever we are clicking on handle payment, right? It's coming here. Okay, handle payment. So what we're doing here, if the payment gateway is razor pay, we are calling one method start razor pay payment. And if it is the stripe, we are calling this gate intent. Okay, this gate intent is hitting our local host server and we are getting the secret, client secret, which is required. Okay, and this client secret we're storing here as a state, okay, current, I mean, in the state of the component. And this current client secret is getting used at the bottom. If client secret is there, we are populating this checkout form here. And in the checkout form, we have the logic. Okay, from the top, we can see here is loading message if the payment was succeeded or failed, whatever, all the information. So this is the logic, you can just go through it, like how it's looking. Now, there are some test cards for the payment. Okay, there are a lot of actually, it's up to us, uh, which one you wanted to use. Okay. Uh, which one you wanted to use like card payment method and tokens and there are different things so this is the test cards 4242442 cvv you can just add any random three digit and the date should be the future date okay a visa mastercard debit credit prepaid american express there are a lot of things you can just explore this part for the before testing okay tokens payment information there are um, other things as well but we right now in this sessions we will be dealing with credit cards okay so especially this is our first one 424242 okay i'm just going to react application i'm just adding here 424242 expiry date just add any random future date okay cvv any random select i'm country selecting country as india i'm just doing the inspect element here I'm clicking on the pay now. So make sure your NGROC server is running uh, here. Yes. Okay. So make sure you have already running server and you have to add this exactly same URL in the web book. Okay. So I'm just hitting pay now. Okay. Let me just show you uh, Stripe dashboard ones. Okay. Transactions right now. We have these transactions. Maybe um, I did early morning. After now, I will be just doing one transaction here. App dot yes. Let's make some random payment. Get intent for ten dollar. I'm making. Let's make for the hundred dollar now. Okay. I need to re refresh this because I'm updated the uh, updated the amount right. So proceed. So when you click on the proceed right, the intent is getting created, and we can just see here intent. We are getting a client secret. Okay, this is the response, and this client secret is used for proceeding the payment. Now I'm just adding four two four two four two. Any future expiry date? Any random secret? Uh, security code as a CVV. Okay. I'm just clearing this and in the pay now. Okay. Our payment got succeed actually. So when you click on this, right? Uh, so it's not showing right now, but yeah, um, payment succeed. And you can see this information. 
we are done with the payment. Now let's see the NGROC logs. Here we can see there are different kinds of events we received. And at the top, okay, so uh, let me just give a brief on this NGROC. Here, uh, all the requests will come and whatever the request hit, hitting actually that particular URL, which we saw before some time, right? This one, this URL, we added in the webhook of the Stripe. So all the requests hitting to that URL will come appear here. And this is the summary of the this request. Summary, headers, row, body, binary. Okay, this is the information. And in the summary, we can see JSON object where we have a lot of information. Type of the object is the payment intent and what uh, type of the intent is like required action. So it's having a lot of other information which Stripe is sending. So whenever we initiate the payment at that time, Stripe just create different kind of events like payment initiated, uh, charge succeeded, payment succeeded, something like that. I will just show you this five. Whenever we are done with the one payment, we can see total almost five um, different kind of events. Okay, this uh, this is the second one where payment intent dot succeed. So where we have other additional information here. Let me show you. Okay, hundred dollar amount was there, and it's having other information. So let's see any other. Okay, this is the shipping address, right? Which we added uh, during the intent creation. Uh, user information is also there. Okay, status is succeeded. So let me see one more thing here. Okay, this. Okay, type of object is charge. Okay, so here for the charge, the intent of intent type is charge dot succeeded. So when we create the web books, there were a lot of events, and at that time we subscribe all of them. So that's why we are getting. Uh, all the events associated with that particular transactions, maybe intent created, succeeded, charge succeeded. Uh, next one, let's see. Okay, charge updated, webhook, uh, okay, payment, intent created. This is also created, charge succeed. Okay, so this kind of different events we're getting. What kind of objects we're getting at the API side? Let's see. The same thing we're, we're able to see on the NGROC, right? The same things is happening here. Okay, Stripe payment. Stripe payment. Okay, so here the signature verification is happening. Okay, signature we are getting in the request dot headers. Let me show you that. Here, okay, Stripe signature. This is getting validated because we have webhook secret right at the um, at the back end. Here, webhook secret. Okay, so. This signature is getting validated when Stripe sends some information, right? How we can trust directly. So for that purpose, we just validate the signature, which will uh, use this uh, webhook secret. And once it's validated, then only we can trust the data. If something is wrong, if some unauthorized person is sending with the same information, we cannot trust, right? So, so for that purpose, this signature validations happens. Once you get this data, and that's it. These events, we can just store as per our requirement in our database. So in the banking, sec uh, sorry, any kind, any kind of application, right? So when we sell any product and we have application, we wanted to store that information. Okay, this customer has already paid and Stripe is sending that information. By just cross-checking cross, cross -checking that information, we can just proceed the order of that particular customer. So there are a lot of events. We have to explore all the events and just store this information in the database so that for uh, our reference also we'll have all the information okay which or which customer has ordered what kind of products how many products he has ordered and everything we have to act accordingly because we need to just proceed his order or something right we can validate as well like whether uh, they have paid or not so even we can go to the stripe there also we can just check it let me show you some of the transactions on the stripe itself okay transactions i'm just going to the transactions we can see here just before some time we did this hundred dollar transactions. Okay. Uh, okay. This time is different. So in this transaction, we have a lot of information. Let me just show you uh, last updated consumer payment method risk. I mean, this type provides some additional metadata. So what was the amount? What was the fee? Everything we will get it actually. Risk insight and this customer really, I mean, uh, these are the related payments actually. Okay. These are the different events uh, triggered actually. Uh, let me just show you from the top first. Payment method. Okay. Requires payment method. Required action. Status succeed. Okay. 
So these are the different events and this information we can it can be seen here. Okay, so in the webhook also, I will just show you here, developers, webhook, and open that webhook, we will be able to see what kind of events Stripe is sending. Okay, you can see here, these are the different events associated with that particular transactions, webhook related, event data, okay, this data is getting sent to our application, payment intent created, okay, this is the event. We have a lot of other events as well, like for each, okay, this one, let's see, charge updated, okay, so there is a fees associated with that, right, so, so this is, I think, related to the fees. We have a lot of other information. Just go through these uh, different kind of information. And if we wanted to store on our database, we can always do it uh, with different kind of things. On the home screen of the Stripe, we can see these all the uh, analytics. We can see like how much transactions for the day, what is the amount we collected. So all the information can be seen. And you can just check this ex um, different kind of sections on the Stripe dashboard itself. Okay, this is the test account again. So what kind of info, I mean, what kind of amount you wanted to have, you can just always trigger that that kind of transactions from the front end. So I will share this code base with you. Um, so I will mention everything which is required for doing this integration of the payment gateway integration. So check the YouTube description. There are different type of the Stripe hosting. So first one is the type hosted page, second is the embedded form, and third one is the custom payment flow. We can just use one of the options. Right now, in our sessions, we have done the custom payment flow, but it's up to you. As per your requirement, we can just go through it. Your server.js, app.js, I mean, we can just select uh, the front-end technology and the back-end, and accordingly, the code will get created, and we have to just use appropriately. So self-hosted page, we can see here, at the top, uh, there is the example, so this information we have to provide. I mean, the way of implementation is a little different, but I'm sure we'll be able to do actually uh, once you get this basic idea how to integrate the payment gateway. 